Ace here and I am so excited to be part of the MS Trust Home Festival 2020! Woo! Please remember as well to donate to the MS Trust if you're having fun today. We are going to be doing some awesome pattern making and um, before we get into that I'm going to take you through how I got into patterns. Okay, so crazy story really. Seven years ago I woke up one day with my left side not working at all. Which is sucks in itself, right? But the, the thing that's really, really sucked is the fact that I was, it was actually my last day of university. Yeah, I was 22 years old and I'd been studying for three years on a craft degree, so very much hand dependent. And um, I had set up a business as, my, as an illustrator in my second year so that I'd have a job to go into. That was the plan anyway. So I woke up on the last day of university and poof, it was all gone in an instant which so shocked the heck out of me, to be quite honest. It was so scary, I did not know what to do at all. And um, the only thing that I knew how to do was draw. I was like, if I can't draw, what else What else can I do? What's my purpose? And uh, things got philosophical and it was deep, basically. <laughs> so I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2013 and um, that, that's, that's kind of it. I was perfectly able and healthy, normal, one day and then three days later I was diagnosed with this thing called MS and I had no idea what it was and my doctor's in hospital <laughs> and I remember this so clearly, he sat on the end of my bed and he looked me straight in the eye and he was like, yeah, Jesse, yeah, I think we, I think we know what it is, we'll, we'll do one more test to confirm it, but I think we know what it is. It's something called multiple sclerosis. I was like, right? He was like, do you know what that is? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not a clue. I had no idea what it was, never heard of it before. Um, gems are falling off my face because I'm so warm. And he then literally said, okay, the best thing for you to do right now is to go home, Google it, find out what about it, you know, for yourself, what it is, kind of in your own time. And then he just, oh, lost a gem. And then he just got up and left. So that was not helpful at all and because of that I went on the internet and obviously I found tons of negative stories. I went to Facebook groups and it was just tons of negativity all over the place. It was ridiculous. So because of that, four years later, I then decided to change everything and I wanted to spread the word of positivity in case anybody else told that in hospital would find, so that they would find positive stories rather than the negative stuff that I found. Ugh. So, but all was not lost, right? So after university, um, I thought I wanted to be an illustrator and that sort of thing. Lost use of my hands, didn't I? Um, so I somehow got a position as a fashion designer. <laughs> I don't really know how, I'm not really into fashion. But anyway, um, so I, I had that position for quite a while, a few years, and nobody knew that I couldn't actually feel my hand because all I had to do was tap a stylus on a, on a graphics tab, right? So it was all good. It was all good. So I actually designed patterns for clothing, kind of like this crazy thing going on here. I designed that sort of thing for places like New Look and River Island and H&M and just, I designed loads of stuff all over the place for every kind of high street retailer. And I picked up a thing or two, for sure. So I'm gonna pass that on to you now and we are gonna do some patterns. <laughs> Yay! So the basic thing about patterns uh, is that they actually all come from one square. There you go, there's a big revelation. Patterns come from one square, let me explain to you. So, um, I've got some sheets as well, I made some templates. Um, so take this one in the top corner for example, okay? So this is my 90 degree, oh this is backwards, hang on. This is my 90 degree uh, angle here, and this essentially, if you were to join these ends up, this is a square. So this is my mandala pattern, that is called a mandala pattern. And what happens with this is if you were to take that and then duplicate that, but then flip it, and then duplicate these and then flip them again, then you get a circle. Once you have a circle, you can make something like this. There you go. So it's really cool, really funky. And it's super easy. It's much, much easier than you think to make a pattern. It really, really is. Um, so like I said, I do have some printouts today. I have some pattern basics going on. <laughs> so I've made some of these things for you guys. And what I'm gonna do is, um, so I put these on a page where you can go and get these for a pound. You're literally gonna get these for a pound. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna donate that pound to the MS Trust. So if you want a really easy way to donate, there you go. And it's gonna be really fun as well because you can find a straw and doodle and it'll be awesome. 
So let me go into more about what these pattern things are. So, like I said before, they are a square. They are a square. So um, I'm gonna give you an example, a live example of <laughs> what I mean by this. Okay, and hopefully you can all see my board. Um, and also comment below if you're having fun right now. Yes, that would be awesome. So they, here is my pattern square. Okay, let's start with that. And then let's just do a really random kind of pattern that is hopefully easy to replicate. But probably not. So yeah, I am very used to doing these on the computer, so drawing these out are actually a little bit weird for me. So I'm just going to do something like that. Let's put some dots in it. Why not? Like anybody can do this. This you don't need to be an amazing artist or anything. This this, this is the revelation of the year, guys. Seriously. So if we were going to take this really awful kind of pattern just <laughs> pattern square here, and if we take that and then we flip it. So let's make that that way. And then we're going to flip it again, so that way, and then we're going to mirror that that way and see what happens. Okay, so let's fill these in kind of like I did before. Like I said, I chose like a little silly pattern to do that with, really. There we go. Let's take that one as well. Ah, there we go. So there we go. So this, these basically, you can use these squares in any way that you want to. Um, so I'm going to show you some different examples of like how you can... Have I done that? Done that wrong way. There we go. So that's pretty much the same-ish. Not really. But you get the idea. <laughs> the gems are falling off my head because I'm so hot. Um, right, so there is your first pattern square. And because you've replicated that, round and around, you've now got this really nice little motif thing. So if you were to take that and then duplicate that again, and again, and again, and again, and again, there's your pattern. It's so easy, this is what I'm saying. Everybody can do this. Let me show you another one that's gonna blow your mind, right? So, okay, so if you were to take this square and then put another one next to it, and next to it, and next to it, you get a very interesting result. So let me demonstrate. If I was to do this, and this, and this, okay, again, and again, and again, I'm hoping you can still see all this. Then I need a green pen. This is how easy it is to make a pattern. You ready? I'm going to put one dot on the top corner, one dot on the bottom, on each of these ones. And then I want you to comment below and guess what you think this is going to turn out like. So what kind of pattern is this going to be? Comment below and let me know. There we go. Right, okay, ready? Here's the magic. This is the magic part. We're going to remove these blue lines, which doesn't look like much right now, but give it a second, give it a second, there we go, there we go, oh, get rid of that one, and let's get rid of that one, da -da 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 -da. it's a polka dot pattern, how easy is that, that's literally one circle at the top, one circle at the bottom, this is what I say, everybody can do this. Literally, <laughs> literally everybody can do this. So if you're gonna get technical, and this is a little bit more technical, but you can still do it. If you're gonna get technical and you use a different color, then you can make them overlap as well. So the best kinds of patterns are the ones that kind of um, look really seamless and can overlap you. The ones that you can't like read easily, that's what they say. They say. You have to read a pattern. Um, so what we used to do at work, um, I'm going to show you something different than that actually. I'm going to show you the complicated one. So this is a lot more complicated. You do not have to do this more, this, this more complicated one. You can stick with the simpler ones. It's totally cool. But this is what we used to do at work. Okay. So, um, so if I took like one, and then for example, if I took like the leaf pattern, actually that's probably going to be hard. Let's take the triangle. And just just a really triangle and then we are gonna put half the triangle at the bottom okay and then the other half would be at the top there means so you've got to make sure that it's in exactly the same place or it won't work <laughs> and you'll find it and you'll have a big gap and then what you would do um and there's loads of different ways you can do this really but if you let's say did a triangle over here like that 
then you would take this section that's this side of the line and that would stay there and then you would take this section and you'd move that over to this side so you move that to like let's say there um, so you kind of got to be a little bit imaginative a little bit creative this is a lot easier to do on a computer by the way not hand drawn <laughs> they don't do them like this anymore so let's take that one um, as an example and then let's just put a random triangle here so triangles are easy to draw and then you would take that and you would duplicate that so let's imagine that we have duplicated that on this side let's put another one here so we're going to put another one there and then so this section of the square on here is going to move over to this side so this has to match up perfectly Obviously this isn't going to do it because I don't have a ruler and that sort of thing. So imagine that this is right, so that would be there. If that makes sense, because that's where that one moved over. And then this top part, let's move that over this side as well. And then you line at the top, which would all be lined up perfectly. And then you put the one in the middle as well. Let's just say it's there. And then you do one underneath. So. So then your top of this line at the top would be then at the bottom of that triangle, if that makes sense. Yeah, and then the side one would be here, um, be there. There we go. I'm hoping you can't hear my neighbours, but you probably can. Sorry about that. There we go. And so I'm just literally going to draw in the rest of these, um, just so you can see what is uh, how that kind of works and that is the basis of your pattern a more complicated sort of pattern so if i just kind of take those out the middle and then draw the lines back up again you can see you can see how it kind of all goes together right does that make sense <laughs> no that makes sense i'll have to draw that really badly but look that is kind of how it fits together and that's how they do it in industry where you have like a really complicated looking sort of pattern it is still a square it's just kind of merged into each other if that makes sense does that make sense so the other way that you can make a pattern and replicate a pattern is actually something really really simple so i have some examples they're like okay, let's take this leaf one here oh sorry here that i did okay really simple leaf as you can see all of these are in squares and then how you kind of duplicate the squares and move them about that's up to you that's what you can do so let's take that square uh, square of leaves and instead of this time instead of putting it next to each other let's put it next to each other and then drop it halfway down i want to see how that turns out yeah you do that oh i'm going to close my hand yeah that is how it turns out you see so you've taken this square and then you've dropped it halfway down and then you've carried on up here again and once you've got them all together, seamless. <laughs> it's seamless. It's so cool. Like patterns are just so amazing, and you can do so many different things as well. Like take, uh, take this one that I do in the top corner. It looks a little bit mental, a little bit mad, but look how that turned out. There we go. How cool is that? So there we are. So if you would like, so there's some more information on here as well if you want that. So if you want to go and get my templates and pattern sheets, you absolutely can. You can go to the link in the top of the, should be a description at the top somewhere, hopefully. Um, and you can go to enabledwarriors.org slash pattern. So you can go and get those and I'll donate that pound to the MS Trust as well. That is awesome. So if you um, want to like follow more about what I do, um, so I am a writer, podcast host, uh, podcast host of the Disabled to Enabled podcast, you need to go make sure you check that out. And um, I also run the Enabled Warriors Facebook group as well, which is totally awesome. We are a positive community and we believe in empowering people and supporting you through the bad times so if you, that's the kind of thing that you're looking for right now then please go and find us as enabled warriors on facebook i have teamed up with the ms trust to bring you the enabled warrior symptom tracker book i'm so excited i'm donating 50 percent of the profits that's 50 percent of the profit of this book to the ms trust so please help me 
in building their donations because they are so, so amazing. They help so, so many people. Um, so I just want to give you a quick rundown of the book uh, and what it is. So it's basically split into three different sections, daily sheets, weekly sheets, and Monday, mon monthly sheets. Oh, MS brain. So this can help you to track and manage all of your symptoms. It can help you to remind you um, about your treatment diaries, your pill supplements, um, if you take medications, that sort of thing. You've got exercise tracker, goal tracker, even a menstrual cycle tracker as well, because you know, it affects symptoms, right? Let's be honest. So you've also got food diary in here as well. So you can kind of check every single thing that's going on and you can feel empowered knowing what your uh, triggers are, what's triggering your symptoms. Is it heat? Is it food? Is it, you know, like I said, menstrual cycle? So many things affect our symptoms and this is gonna help you for sure to, uh, to go and manage those. So go and check that out. Click the link above, which is the MS Trust, MS Trust specific link, and that is gonna help them get 50% of the physical book profit. And you get a lovely book in return. Yay! That is super awesome. It has been amazing speaking to you today, guys. Thank you so, so much. And remember, stay enabled. Catch up soon, bye.